Stage one pogo bleed for the stage ACS quiz. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the webcast of ISAT 1B, and we're here at Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. My name is Oscar Fleet, and I'm the webcaster for Saturn Aerospace, and also the lead software designer. Today, the payload was submitted by Forge Gamer, and we're glad to be taking his payload up to space into geostationary orbit. What stage is Provencer at flight level? The first stage we're using today is PBX01, our first ever Block X booster, and it's flown. F it, this will be its fourth flight. You can tell by its dark, sooty. Not a purge complete. Stage. Engine bleeds complete. We leave the soot on that rocket as it saves money then uh, it saves money rather than having to self alignment verification rocket. strong back retraction in progress you see a view from our 39a uh, launch tower camera yes it's curing engine chill Now uh, we're going to be landing downrange on our drone ship. Where are the engines? Approximately 700 kilometers downrange today. Our last Stage few missions one and two tanks press for flight. Increasingly successful with recovery. We are extremely thankful that the recovery recovery attempts have been successful. Flight control to self alignment. Coming up. Shortly is the go no go pole between the mission controllers. We'll let you hear that and I'll keep quiet until after launch. Have you been started? Europa engines uh, vector control complete. Launch commit, gonna go pull range. Go. Propulsion. Go. Propellant. Go. Mission assurance. Go. Nav. Go. Fight software. Go. DC. Go. Recovery. Go. MD. Go. DC or go to enable terminal account auto sequence. Purple account ignited. All time strip flight pressure. Twenty seconds away from the launch. It's to ISAT one B. PV is configured configured for flight. T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, ignition, and we have lift off. PB has cleared the tower on its way to geostationary orbit.
stage one propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching down range. Coming up, the major milestones, Max Q, Miko, stage separation, second engine start. At Max Apparently Q, the vehicle nominal. experiences the most dynamic pressure as it climbs through the atmosphere. The large part of the rocket on the top are the fairings. These keep the vehicle aerodynamic and reduce the drag as we push through the atmosphere. Max Q. Vehicle supersonic. Beautiful views of Cape Canaveral and Florida there. Coming up is Miko. Miko, stage separation confirmed. Second engine start. And successful stage separation. And second engine start as usual. Trajectories. Coming up next is fairing separation. We remove these to reduce the weight and to allow the payloads to separate, or in this case, the payload. Fairing separation confirmed. Give you a fairing separation there, nominal as usual. And about three and a half minutes into flight, increasing speed as you see in the top right hand side of your screen then we'll be cutting off that second engine and coasting to our Apogee Now we've got a good orbit, but what we're going to be doing is increasing our apogee Stage to the burn specified started. orbit, which means that we're actually using more fuel. And there we go, that's just the perfect cool. orbit there. Orbital insertion burn complete. Stage 1 entry burn shut down. Stage 1 trajectory remains nominal. Stage 1 FTS is safe.
stage one is transonic. Stage one landing burn. Stage one landing leg deploy. Recovery teams be advised for debris in the recovery area. Move in on next chicken. And now the small RCS thrusters on that little payload, well, you're seeing one right there. Those will help to um, increase the velocity of the payload at its apogee so that it can stay in geostationary orbit. Our current, uh, you know, well, uh, sorry, I've forgotten the word. Our current direction is uh, leading us into a very eccentric orbit which means that it's sort of like an egg rather than a circle. And those RCS ports will help to stable out the trajectory. Coming up next then is payload separation and also me figuring out how to commentate. Payload separation confirmed. And a good look at that payload separation. As usual, this is where the webcast comes to a close. We thank everyone for coming along to our launch today, and we also thank the range massively for allowing us to launch out of the Cape. We hope you enjoyed this webcast. Anything you would like us to do in the future that we can do to improve from our launches and whatnot, please feel free to let us know in the webcast and in the comments. Until then, we'll see you next time. This has been Saturn Aerospace.